Hey, what's up everybody? Remy Sovereign here from RemySovereign.com. And in today's video, I have something different that I want to share with you guys. It's a little tip and it's something I've actually implemented into my diet and into my lifestyle on a daily basis over the past few months. And it's actually something that I was recommended to me by a former colleague of mine back when I was up in Toronto. And so what it is, is the use of the Santiva Power Stick. So this is the Santiva Power Stick and this is kind of the packaging. And so what this does, um, based on what uh, Santiva states is that it basically improves the taste, reduces chlorine, it adds minerals, and it raises pH. So this is kind of made of stainless steel, uh, it contains natural kind of minerals within here, and it contains chlorine reduction balls and alkaline ceramic balls, which basically help in the process of changing the pH and removing the chlorine. So why I was basically recommended this was because today we live in a society where a majority of the population, a good proportion of the population is deficient in various minerals, specifically calcium and magnesium. And so there's actually a recent research study that was done that showed about 80% of the population within the United States has some sort of magnesium deficiency. And so if we're deficient in magnesium, but if we're also deficient in calcium, we're going to basically have limitations within our physiological performance because we know that calcium and magnesium are very important in various enzymatic reactions, metabolism, and energy production. So with the use of this mineral stick here, or this power stick, if we could add more minerals into our water, we can get more minerals into our basically our daily life on a daily basis, and therefore potentially improve our energy levels and improve our performance. Because if we're limited in those uh, minerals, then we're going to basically limit our performance. And so another thing though too is that if we can improve the quality of the water and if we can improve the taste, now the taste is something I could actually attest to. I've actually tried this out. I've been using this for a few months now is the taste does improve when you actually use the stick. And the water tastes a lot more crisp and it tastes a lot more smooth as to as opposed to before using this. So if you kind of if you try it out, if you taste water, if you taste any tap water or just regular filtered water, you'll notice that it can sometimes be very heavy and thick. But then once you add this mineral stick in and go through the process of stirring it and letting the water sit for a few minutes, you'll notice a difference in the taste, a lot more smooth and it's a lot more crisp. So if we can improve the taste, we could potentially get more people to drink more water on a daily basis and more frequently. So therefore, this could help people maintain optimal hydration levels and it could prevent dehydration. And also it could get people that don't necessarily like the taste of water to kind of drink more water because if they don't like the taste you know this is one way we can improve the taste and it could prevent them from drinking and drinking any of those sugary drinks like pop or any sugary juices and it could help them uh, maintain more of a healthy diet and uh, more nutritious lifestyle and also it it supposedly removes chlorine through ver uh, various chlorine balls in here so by removing chlorine, you know that chlorine is kind of like a poison to our body and it can be very bad uh, to our like, internal organs. So removing that is would be very beneficial. And so also improving the pH. So the pH is the last thing here I want to talk about. And so if we can improve the pH, we can increase the pH and get to a more optimal pH. Roughly around, I think 7.2, 7.4 is around optimal kind of drinking water. But there's a lot of people that are big on drinking like high alkaline water. Like, and a lot of people, the whole thought process with the alkaline water is that we live in a society today where we're consuming a lot of acidic foods, a lot of acidic drinks, and so our body is very acidic overall. So by getting more alkaline substances into our body, we can kind of balance things out. And this is just kind of thought process. There's big believers about this on the whole acidity and alkalinity thing. In my opinion, I don't, I'm kind of, Still learning about it. I'm not really an expert on this, so I, I don't have much to comment on it, but I just want to state that's kind of the theory behind it. And so that's just, you know, it's something to see if it actually would, you know, make a difference. It's something to kind of maybe, if you're kind of one of those people that are concerned with the whole alkalinity acidity thing, something to maybe research up on, research, research up on as, you know, there's a lot of professionals out there that 
are big for and big against it. But anyways, back to the whole power stick. Now, I'm not really concerned with the alkalinity. That's not really my thing that I'm really concerned about. The biggest thing is just I'm concerned about is improving the taste, um, getting the whole filtration process, and also adding minerals. So one way we can kind of test to see if this is actually working is using pH strips. So I've basically done two different tests on this. I used two different pH strips. So I tested water before and after. So I just took regular filtered water, um, took a pH strip, placed it in, then placed the stick in, then took the stick out, let the water kind of sit for a bit, and then basically placed that second strip in, and then I compared the strips. What I noticed is that there were, there were very subtle differences. There wasn't any big differences within the pH, that's what, which I was measuring for. But actually, Santiva says not to really use pH strips to kind of measure the pH. Not sure why, but I, did, I, I noticed like very, very subtle differences, not major differences, but it does kind of show that there is potentially something going on once you add the stick into the water. And so how the process does actually work is, you know, you have these various minerals with, with inside the stick. As you place it in the water, it's going, they're going to kind of dissolve into the water. And also, you know, there's these chlorine balls, how that works. Um, supposedly how it works is that it's going to pick up the chlorine and once you basically take the stick out, you kind of shake it out and you're going to shake the chlorine out of the stick and uh, therefore you're going to have less chlorine in the water and you're going to have add minerals and you're going to have just an overall improved quality of water. Now, to what extent does this actually work? I don't know. I mean, you would have to do lab tests to actually check to see how many minerals, how much minerals are being added in, which minerals, and also you know, looking at the chlorine levels, looking at different proportions, you'd have to do all various sorts of lab tests to kind of actually test for it. And so what, but so basically how this does work though is, you know, you take your water here, place the stick inside, you mix it around for about 30 seconds. Uh, it also depends on how much water you have and how alkaline you want the water to be. Because if you leave the stick in longer, you know, you're going to potentially add more minerals in, but you're also going to kind of wear this down a little bit more, a little bit more quicker. So Santifa states that this lasts about one to three months. Um, and it really depends on, sorry, they stated it lasts about three months, but I stay about one to three months. Uh, for me, about one month just because of the frequency that I use it. I use it pretty often, pretty frequently. I drink a lot of water. I'm six foot five, so I, you know, I'm always working out too, so I have a greater demand for kind of drinking water and whatnot. So that's just something to consider too. Now, it's not expensive. It's, this is, was only cost me under 20 bucks. You know, and you can get the other stick that doesn't actually do the filtration process, which is about 14 bucks, I think. But it still adds like the minerals and whatnot and it'll change the, and potentially improve the pH. So now why I'm most concerned with the stick and how it relates to performance is what I wanted to see is what if we kind of, you know, what if um, I wanted to see if it had any changes in terms of performance, like for an athlete working out, if someone was in the gym or someone playing sports and if they use this on a frequently daily basis to see if it had any effects or any changes. That's what I'm kind of most concerned about or not so much most concerned and most I want to like most look into. Because if this could have a potential change of performance, then this is something that you know would I would highly recommend to somebody. And in my opinion, um, an individual, it's very hard to kind of notice the change. They may notice a subtle change if they use this on a daily basis and a frequency over a long period of time. But in my opinion, it needs to be combined with a lot of other factors as well, a lot of other nutritious factors and healthy factors. So that means you know having eating a healthy diet. Like, so getting proper meals in, whatever it is, getting optimal sleep, optimal recovery time, having good workouts, all that needs to be combined together. And so if we could combine all that together and we can get these added minerals into our body, especially if someone's deficient, we could potentially see an extra edge in performance. So this could potentially make the difference between a mediocre athlete and a high level athlete, or this could just be the difference between someone um, between 0.1 seconds or 0.2 seconds within like a personal record or personal best on like a sprint. So this is just something that I wanted to kind of share with you guys and it could potentially have performance benefits. Now, 
Do I recommend this? I recommend, you know, trying it out, see how it works for you guys. Um, it's a great little stick, you know, too, because if you're on the road or something, it's very convenient, it's short, it's very short and small, easy to carry around, so, and you can just simply filter your water on the go. With this stick and, um, you know, you can bring it anywhere. So for that, you know, I uh, recommend trying it out just to see how it works for you. Now, to the extent that it will work, It'll probably vary for every individual. Every individual will have a different experience with it, in my opinion. So for that, you know, just give it a try. See how it works for you. I enjoy it. I'm still frequently using it. I like it. I just want to kind of continue using it to see if there's now any performance-related changes that I may see or whatnot. And so if you guys um, do kind of purchase this product or whatever by Santiva here, um, let me know how it goes for you. Let me know your experiences. Leave, uh, leave some comments below. And also, if you have any questions related to this video, just leave them below. And if you guys want to see more like nutritional videos or fitness videos or anything like this, um, please be sure to leave a comment below. If there's any type of video you want to see, just leave a comment below. And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe, guys. Okay? And for that, all the best and take care. Uh, I'll see you guys soon.